Josh had been sick from an early age, uh, diagnosed with chronic granulomatous disease from about age three. So uh, even at a young age, he needed some blood, blood transfusions when he went in for surgeries and things like that. So, uh, so that was part of his, his life. Uh, so uh, several blood transfusions over the period of his life and, and 80 uh, the last year of his life. While he was in and out of hospitals, this didn't stop the energetic young man from living a full life. Josh was very active, uh, uh, loved to snowboard, loved to wakeboard, uh, got into uh, filming. He lived in Morocco, he went to school at um, Ridger College to do the film and he finally found who he wanted to work with when he met this Andrew Simpson. After working with Simpson on a documentary, Wolves Unleashed, and two bone marrow transplants, Josh lost his battle with CGD on April 10th, 2010. Even after his passing, friends and colleagues have helped Josh's memory live on. They had their first film festival and we went to it and Josh used to always tell me he was going to take me to the red carpet. And you know, a year after his death, that I'm like getting an invitation to, and I looked down and it was a red carpet. So he fulfilled even what he said he was going to do for me, to me. It's been really encouraging that they actually dedicated the movie when when the DVD is out, it says, In Memory of Josh. And then the book they dedicated to Josh's memory, too. So it really speaks lots that he, you know, made these friends or that even his boss, you know, would want to dedicate that to him. Josh's family has also chosen to create a legacy. For the second year, friends and family gathered at Canadian Blood Services to hold an in-honor clinic to not only raise awareness of CGD, but also blood donations. It was his 30th birthday, or would have been on December 1st, so this is just kind of another way of celebrating and remembering his life and, and try to keep other people alive with the blood. I don't know what we would have done if, if there wasn't Canadian Blood Services and the ability to get the blood that, that he needed when he needed it. The Hurlberts are hoping the public will look beyond the clinic and think of the people who will benefit from the donations and their families. If they're on the fence because they're worried about having to have a needle, I just feel, like, you know, these people that are on the other end receiving, they've had hundreds of needles and hundreds of, well, I mean, if they've got leukemia, they're living with illness, you know, really, come on, let's just donate some blood and, you know, make somebody's life a little bit easier if you can. Josh, I think he would be very happy that we're doing things for other people. Uh, uh, Josh was the kind of kid that probably didn't want a lot of uh, publicity for himself, but I think Josh would be very happy to know that uh, we're getting the word out and we're getting people to donate. Uh, not so much just because it's in his memory, but getting people to donate because there's a need for it out there. If you would like more information on donating blood, you can visit www.blood.ca. For Go Central, I'm Lex Ingle.